Greetings homies, I'm back with some more Escape from Tarkov and today we're going to talk about ammo. What is the best ammo to buy, where can you buy it and if you can buy it because some of the ammo types that you have for certain weapons they'll go within seconds at some of your favorite vendors whether that be Prapor, Peacekeeper, Skier, anybody that sells any sort of good ammo it usually goes within seconds. Now I've noticed a trend here and if for some reason you never see that ammo when you go in and it's sort of 59 59 and it's just about to hit always go in with about a minute and 20 30 seconds before he actually resets because of what i've noticed that the traders reset at different times now when i'm saying different times i'm talking about 20 30 seconds here but i've tried it with somebody in the states and it was a little bit different for him we both sort of hit refresh at the same time i had the ammo he didn't or he had it i had it and it was just enough to get in there with 10 20 30 seconds just for you to make your purchase once you purchase the ammo then by the time i've refreshed and five ten thousand people that bought that ammo it's gone because it only comes in short supply so that's one of the reasons why you may not see in certain ammo types although they've been sort of changing them all the time so every patch and every time they do something about it they don't always tell you that they've changed things like that so you just have to sort of find that on your own now last week you may remember they started doing uh, some justice to the slugs and the buckshot to your shotguns and your side guns and whatnot and eventually they did publish an actual ammo table so now we have one with the damage values meta penetration damage price all that sort of stuff it's all here and it's called the escape from tarkov official and actual ammo table it's going to be linked in the description you can download it it's right here and uh, this basically shows you all the value, shows you the price, it shows you the penetration, the ricochets, the, everything that you need to know in order for you to make a good decision to what ammo that you should be buying. Now, like I said, this is going to be linked in the description. All you got to do is click it, download it, and then you find out what it is. I've gone through a couple of them and just highlighted a few which are going to be the best. I mean, it's going to be a combination between certain things because uh, let's give uh, the simplest example there. The 545 PRS, you know, a lot of people are into it. 545 uh, 39 PRS ammo for your AK that has a damage of 63, but it only has 19 penetration, while 545 39 HP has 66 damage and 21 penetration. And again, you have the 545 39 PS, which only has a 55 damage, but it has 27 penetration value. Now after going through all the ammos and seeing which one has the most damage, I can come back with some results and the 366 TKM Geksha, that's the ammo for the Vepper, that has a 75 damage. Next is the ammo for your AK, which is the 545 HP, that has a 66 uh, damage. Next it's uh, 556 45 55 HP, that has a 68 damage. And if I look back down to the 762, is the 762 51 M62, which has a 71 damage. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, this only has the best damage, but with penetration, that might not be the best for me. Well, that's why they have this chart, and that's why it's been updated, and hopefully they'll keep it updated to date. And then you can make an informed decision on what ammo you need to buy. It might not always be that ammo that's always going away in the first 30 seconds that you need to buy. It might just be something else that you can always get at the traders. Since we're talking about buffs, another thing that I would love to see since we've uh, seen some love shown to the shotguns now, especially the slugs, is I'd love to see a little buff to the sniper rifles you know i'd love to see a bit of damage a bit of increased damage onto that because i'd love to take out you know the sv i'd like to take out the dvl they'd be pretty fun to use although they're a bit sort of clunky and the lag and the desync and all that sort of stuff comes into play if he has a better damage value and a better penetration and i know i can sort of down you in one or two shots i mean obviously yeah i can down you because if i shoot you in the head then that's it done but if I know he could go through your packer within two shots and I know I'm going to take you down, then it might be something that I'd use a little bit more. Now, one of the things to remember that about a year ago in the Alpha, your packer, which is, uh, it's got a 60 protection now, you only used to have 40. You know, things do change. You're going to have a lot more protection out of your packer now, but that means that that bullet that they used to take one or two shots to go through your packer, now it takes three, four. Therefore, taking a sniper rifle into the raid is a little bit trickier than it used to be because I know it's going to be a lot harder for me because let's just face it here, if I go head-to-head -head with somebody and I got a sniper rifle 
and I don't get you, I don't get the headshot, and I know he's going to turn, and he knows exactly what I am. If he starts spraying me with an AK, he starts spraying me with an M4. As soon as I start taking damage, my screen is going to be all blurry, my gun is going to be pointing up in the sky, and chances are I'm not going to make it. So that's why I, th I think that the sniper rifle should see a little bit of love, just like the, the slugs did last week. But like I said earlier, the link is going to be in the description, download it and see if you've been using the right ammo. Have you been using the right ammo or have you been using the wrong ammo and just see what kind of difference does it make in your raids. Now if I may just take a second for this caveat because I think he took this a bit too personal. Oh my god, that was painful. <laughs> That was a bit too painful for that scam. I mean, he literally cried when he went down. I'm sorry, man. I really am sorry. So go ahead and uh, download that thing in the description. Check the values and check to see if you've been using the best possible ammo for that weapon. Now, if you didn't, will you change just because he has better penetration? Will you change just because he has better damage? Or will you just keep, keep using the same ammo you've been using because you've used it for a while, you're quite happy with it, and you're happy with the results? So I gotta say I'm pretty happy that they actually got an, an ammo guide out there that you can go back into and like I said hopefully they'll just keep it updated all the time because it's going to be pretty cool for you to just rely on something like that which is officially made by them. You can just go in and say okay yep I know this is going to be the best ammo for that gun I'm going to try and get as many as I can and then next time when I see it on one of the traders I'm not going to go and buy 300 I'll buy 3000 because I know that's my favorite gun and I'll just be using a ton of that ammo and I will be using it in the raids anyway. Now with the slug buff last week, I've got to say I have been enjoying my slugs. It's been such a long time since I've really gone into factory, you know, just with shotguns because they're just not really that competitive, but now they are. You can actually go in and do a bit of damage with them. Hopefully you'll get something at the end of it or even better, you can try and get every single dude in the, in the factory. I mean, I think the last guy actually left because I did hear him shoot at one point and actually I did hear a door or something, so I think he just cleared out. But I did end up getting about 18 total kills on this and the shotguns and the guns and that sort of thing they just make factory a little bit better now because you have more options like I, mess, like I said in the previous video the more weapons available for you to play in the raid the more fun it's going to be because you're just going to have a lot more variety you're going to have a lot more options and that's why you're only sort of seeing a handful of guns here. Go ahead and kill him as well, and that's pretty much it. That's all of them, so I'll go and just loot him. I think that's his brother there, you know, the guy that died earlier. He's crying too. There's no need to cry, boys. You're gonna respawn the next raid. So we got a little bit of loot out of this. We've got a couple of shotguns, we've got uh, two uh, helmets, we've got a kiver. All in all, not bad. Plus, I got another shotgun. Plus, I have my little stash that I didn't actually show. But I actually kept going back. It kind of is a double-edged sword here. Yeah? It might not work for you because somebody might just steal it. But I tend to do that a lot. I tend to go, if I'm next to some sort of extraction, I'll go into the extraction and I'll dump guns there or gear or whatever and then I'll just sort to it whenever I get to the end of the raid. I'll just sort through it then. So in this case, I went in here and I dropped in the guy Silence AK. I dropped in my Saiga and the AK should be down here as well. So I'll go ahead and I think I'll get more money for that instead of using my Saiga. Although the Saiga has been pretty nice and pretty good to me this raid. I appreciate it but I'll take the money instead. So overall good, good, easy and all that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.